Hey, sweeties. Well, I want to be the first to say Merry Christmas. Well, I'm probably not because it's already like, what, 1.30 or something like that. But Merry Christmas. And this reading's the weekly reading, as usual. And it's going to be from December 25th to January 1st. And why not? Let's just get started. I already laid out the cards because I'm working with one hand. But you already know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, first card is Queen of Cups. So for the first part of the week, we're going to be a little bit emotional, kind of sensitive, you know, but we also lead with a strong hand. And that's just, you know, the way it's going to be for the first part of the week. But we still got one more card for the first part of the week. Uh... Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is overburdened. So we're going to also be kind of overburdened. You know, like that, you know, after the holidays, you're going to like try to clean everything up, you know. And you're still kind of overburdened from like the whole Christmas thing and everything. So for the first part of the week, you know, we're still going to be kind of emotional, kind of a little overburdened, like I said, you know, overextended. You know how that goes. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you're recovering from a, you know, having too much fun. <laughs> so now you're going to try to wind down and stuff. All right. Let's see. For the second part of the week, the tower. Tower is, it's not as bad as it looks. I know everyone's like, oh no, the tower, you know. It's things breaking down. But what happens is that it breaks down. But you start off new. You have that new foundation to work from. So it's not always bad. So for the second part of the week, you're probably going to go through some things that are come, come crumbling down around you and everything. But you still have that positive side where you're going to start new in a fresh start. You're going to just start with a new foundation and build yourself up again. Because that's what we do. All right, let's see what else is for the second part of the week. See, Seven of Pentacles. Working towards things that you want. It's like planting seeds for the future. So, yeah, it definitely goes with the tower, you know, wiping things clean and starting new. You know, planting seeds for the future, step by step. So that's what it's basically just saying. Take it step by step. You know, don't, don't get like all crazy and say, oh, my God, you know. It's not a bad thing. Always look at things in a positive light, you know? Okay, let's see what's for the last part of the week. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is someone who comes rushing in. He's very emotional, but he always wants to help. So you have that person around you that's going to, you know, maybe help you through things and everything, help you get things done, help you emotionally and, you know, so yeah, that's for the for the weekend. So let's see what else. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is new beginnings. So it does end on a nice note. Which is good because Ace of Wands is new beginnings, whether it be a new job, a new hobby, just starting something that's fresh and new and exciting, you know? So yeah. Not bad for the week. You know, first part of the week, you know, kind of emotional, kind of overburdened, you know, just getting over that, you know, that Christmas stuff. And then for the second part of the week, you know, it's, things seems like it's crumbling down, but you know, you start off fresh and you go step by step because you got the seven of pentacles, it's planting seeds. So you take it step by step and, you know, build back up again. And for the last part of the week, it's. Knight of Cups, and he's someone that you can go talk to and everything because he likes to rescue people. You know how the knights are. And he's kind of emotional, but you know what? He's there to help you out. And this card over here is a really good card. Ace of Wands is new beginnings. Like I said, whether it be a job or a hobby or just starting new and fresh. You get that whole 
clean slate to start from. All right, let's see what the Oracle messages have for us for this week. The Queen of the Light. Illumination, Enlightenment, and Celebration. Ooh, that sounds good. I will read that for you. And it's an ally, so that's good. 15. Ooh. I like it when it ends on a good note. Something I look forward to. Okay. The Queen of the Light. The Queen of the Light is a beautiful ally and comes into your life to herald success in all your ventures. She illuminates the most important steps on your path and reminds you of your own brilliance. Your intelligence is in, inspired and all your needs will be met. Remember that you're the instrument of divine shining through you in this world. You're on the correct path for your highest good. So that's good that we are on, on a correct path that we're going on. Hold on, there's still a little bit more. Let's see what else she has to say. I can grab a hold of the book today. It keeps falling out of my hands. <laughs> the queen also brings you insight into how you manifest your reality in the most miraculous ways. She promises that you'll be shown the next right action and celebrate you as you stand brilliant, joyful, and enlightenment, enlightened in the present time. You've worked hard to come this far. You can be proud to stand tall in your conviction that in your heart of hearts you know the truth of your situation. Rewards for your per perseverance and willingness to learn are on their way. Gratitude and accept acceptance are the key today. So, yep, we have reasons to celebrate. That's always a good thing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, you know, the little fortune for the week and everything. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Comments, too. And please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share if you want. Yeah. And if you guys ever want to get a hold of me on Facebook, I'm under Melissa Bellavo. And I also have a page if you want to go on to. It's for um, like if you want, ever want a reading or if you ever want to talk or whatever. It's Sapphire Tarot Reading. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go, and I hope you guys have a beautiful holiday. Because, like I said, it's Christmas still. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.